Hello everybody, it is the 17th of December 2017 and it's time for Sploon News. First off, I'd like to say a big welcome to all of our new subscribers. It's, the channel's been doing pretty well lately, like, been gaining a lot of subs, which is really weird, because usually that doesn't, that, that, that doesn't happen. Usually it's like you get two and then you lose one. But anyway, that's all good. So thank you all for subscribing in this channel at this video. We do Splinter News, which is where I cover all the topics that's happened throughout the week and put into an interesting, funny video for all of you at people at home to watch. So sit back and enjoy. Alright, in this week's news, we have new weapon to start off with. Uh, every week we get a new weapon, that's basically the thing. And this week, we get a weapon that we weren't really expecting, but we were expecting at the same time because it's a variant, so you know... You know how it goes, but it's the slosher, so you know, weapon's pretty good, it's kit is actually, you know, alright, it's got Sprinkler as its sub, and for its special, it's got Bolas, it's got the same kit as the Aerospray RG, MG, ooh, can't remember, it's the golden one, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, kit is pretty good, um, definitely not going to splash the meta in any way, but I like to see this variation, it's actually, it's a nice variation, nothing too big, but nothing, you know, it's not, it's not bad, <laughs> it's a decent kit. On other news, we have a new returning map from Splin 1 coming into Splin 2. Well, it's not coming, it's already here, people. It's Walleye Warehouse. Now, this was an absolute treat to see. The map is basically unchanged. It feels thinner, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It's just probably my brain, other people's brains playing tricks on us. But it's back in all of its glory, and it came just in time for the American and, and Oceana Splatfest. It was nice to see, the map feels just as good as it was in the first game, and yeah, that's about it, it's pretty awesome. Um, people are finding some cool tricks you can do with some of the specials and all that, so hopefully that doesn't break the map, I'm really hoping it doesn't. But yeah, overall, it's a great map, it is very nice to see. For everyone who didn't play Splin 1, it is, you know, taking a while to get used to. For everyone who has played Splin 1, and it took a little bit to get used to, just to get the feel, but man, it feels good. <laughs> it's a good map to be in this game, and I'm happy it's here. Couldn't have asked for a better map. And for anyone who has been living under a rock, Clan Blitz came out on Wednesday. It was overall received pretty well. Um, for the first few days, it was pretty hectic and crazy because everyone was in C-, and it's like, oh, we want to we wanna rank up. <laughs> It was very, very messy, but you know, the days are kind of panned out, the ranks are starting to spread out, people are getting into the different slots, so overall the game mode is becoming a bit more tolerable. Uh, it will st it's still going to take a week or so for the game mode to properly develop and for people to fully up understand and grasp the concept of the mode and be able to strategize and figure out all the nooks and crannies, but at the moment it's doing pretty well. I personally really like this game mode, it's very different and it the thing I like about it most is that it kind of makes weapons that were considered not usable kind of just like this is its niche mode. Like, I do not like ink brushes for the life of me, but this mode has made me pick up the ink brush. In fact, I've got a gear set up for it that I'm working on right at the moment, just for this mode. But you know what? I'm I'm glad that a game that can make me force or not force, but make me use a weapon that I otherwise wouldn't have thought to use. Uh, I think that's applaudable. Like, good job, Nintendo. Good job, you made me think outside the box. And for some recent news, the, the news you've all been waiting for, the Splatvest results, the Americas and stuff, it goes to drumroll, not really, it's sweater. Three to zero, they, they, de they, they demolished us. I was socks, I feel bad now. But you know what, GG, um, I'm not salty. I, I guess you guys want it, whatever. I mean, it was a dumb Splatfest anyway, I don't care. I mean, it was probably fine for you Americans, but whatever. Whatever, I don't care. Let's, let's just move on. Splatfest sucks. And for some really interesting news. So apparently, Flounder Heights might be coming back? I don't know. Uh, there was this data mine by Oatmeal on Twitter. And apparently, Flounder Heights might be coming back to Splatoon 2. At the moment, we don't have any gameplay or any screenshot. But according to his word... It, is coming back and we can kind of trust oatmeal because he was the one who said that um, black belly was coming back and he did actually provide a screenshot and actual gameplay before it came out so i think we can trust his word he did say though that it might not be flounder heights because the translation d 
didn't exactly match up. It wasn't exactly the right translation from Japanese to English. So we could be getting we could be getting Thunder Heights, or we might be getting a different map that kind of shares a similar name. So we're gonna have to wait to see that. Um, but it might be coming out within the next two weeks. So keep an eye out. You might see Flounder Heights. You might see a different map, but that's still pretty interesting. And now it's time for the random clip of the week. Yeah, people, we're still doing this. It's not dead just yet. Unfortunately, this week we only had two applications, two submissions. It was from the same person, Hayes, my boy, keeping this thing I'm trying to do alive. But I can't stress enough, this enough, people. If you want your clip, you, you just got to message me. I'm, I'm just, I'm open. Just message me anyway, sending your clips, and I'll chuck them in at the end of the video. I'll pick one. And yeah, I'm still going to try and make this a thing, even if no one else will follow me through, because if I don't have confidence, no one else will. But you know what? Hayes, Hayes put in two clips. It was a really hard choice because it's two, but you know what? I decided to pick one to do with Clan Blitz because I thought it was pretty awesome. So watch Hayes' video and enjoy. Alright, thanks Hayes for that clip. Now it's time for the end of the video. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you had a lovely day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.